Justin, welcome back. Been a couple weeks. How does it feel to be back with the guys in preseason? Yeah, no, it's a lot of fun. Um, obviously, it's a great feeling being out here with uh, all the homies and, and getting back to work is, is always exciting. So another U.S. men's national team camp for you. I'm sure there's always benefits to getting to be around different guys in the league, guys playing in different leagues abroad. Just what were some of the takeaways from this one in particular? Um, it was nice because there were, there were a lot of younger guys. Um, so I felt like as opposed to being a younger guy, I kind of had a different role to fill. Um, and, you know, all the takeaways is always just the speed of play, coming back and, and being sharp um, and, and trying to bring that leadership uh, from there back to here. And anything in particular that you took away from Burhalter, his coaching staff, any advice that they gave you or even from other defenders like DeAndre Yedlin, guys that play overseas? Um, to be fair, the main thing was just quick and simple and, and open teams up and then things will open up for you. Um, and that's, that's pretty much a staple. You said it was nice not being one of the youngest guys at this camp. Well, you're certainly not one. Of, you might still be one of the younger guys here, but you're, according to Aaron, known as the young vet. Year seven. Yeah. Is it hard to believe? Yeah, it is a little wild. Um, as I was writing that caption, I was like, year six. Wait a minute. And it, yeah, it's, it's a little surreal. <laughs> so you are one of the vets in the locker room now. Just what are some of the ways you want to try to maybe be a little bit bigger of a leader in that locker room this season? Yeah, uh, maybe taking a more uh, vocal vocal action and, and kind of speaking my mind more. Um, and then, you know, just emulating what Bex and Ned do all the time and just trying to be a good example. You guys finished 2019 very strong defensively. What are some of the things you want to carry over from last year and then maybe some of the areas that you pinpoint of, like, we could be better this year? Yeah, uh, no, I thought we were great last year. Um, I want to, you know, obviously bring over the, the effort that we gave, uh, the communication and, and the understanding that we had um, with that particular group. Um, what was the second part of that question? Just anything you maybe want to improve on this year defensively, areas you think that the team can be stronger. Yeah. Um, I mean, just simple mistakes. I think we were for, for 89 minutes of a game, we'd be really good, but there'd be that one minute, that one mistake. Um, so if we could sharpen that up, um, I think we'll be uh, a force defensively. And lastly, year seven for you professionally. Just any personal goals that you want to reach and then collectively with the team? I want personally, uh, kind of collectively as a group, I want to get the most uh, shutouts in league history. I think that'd be fun. Um, and, yeah, that's kind of, those kind of go hand in hand with personal and team.